I'll just we'll move on and then she gets connected and we would like to say I'll check that. So now we have chair and commissioner reports or comments. And first thing on the agenda is the nominating committee discussion. Okay, after a lengthy discussion, um, we would like to suggest Brian as the chair and me as vice chair. So I guess that's what we're thinking about. Great. And do we need a nomination for finance to do it this time? No, because the okay. finance officer is not an official position. No, so this is. Uh, so we do I have a motion? So before a vote, I, I'd like to make a, a short campaign speech. We may have to get to the discussion. So we can, if I could have a second, or Brian could. All right. Okay. okay. That's exactly. No, I've, I've already mentioned to uh, a number of you, but I just want to make sure everybody knows that uh, I'm chair. I'm uh, going to be away out of the country for uh, probably two months uh, at the beginning of the February and March. I'll miss the meeting. So when Peggy called me up and asked if I'd be willing to do it, I said, yeah, but I, I need help. And she's willing. Um, we need help from everybody because we have we need commissioners, fairly new commissioners. We are about to have two more, and that's our first big job is selecting two new commissioners uh, to, I would say, replace. But um, Sandy and Chris are looking to have questions. So that's the first big job, but we have a lot of people working in this year. So if, if I'm chair, I can help everybody. It's a few so. Great. Um, would you like to make a question? No, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Uh, okay, so we uh, the motion's on the table to nominate Brian as chair, Haley as vice chair. All those in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Anyone abstaining? Yeah. Okay, that passes unanimously. Um, and I'm going to just, unless there's something really uh, you just can't live without saying, we're going to take a pass on the commissioner comments because we talked together for eight hours yesterday and we're going to get to do it again today. So, pretty good. Something you want to say is going to come out. Uh, I don't know if we have the next thing would be the preservation trust partner. Yes, so we don't. I got an email from Vicki Edwards, and they're having trouble with the Zoom. Um, so she sent me her uh, their report, uh, and it's mostly about the Katy Mountain Preserve Conservation Conservation Easement. So uh, they've succeeded in their fundraising efforts. They got approval, final approval from the board uh, on December 11th to move forward with it, um, and we and that's as per our cooperative agreement with the county. Um, unfortunately, uh, as far as the county goes, we've had to delay this. Um, so we're, we're going to need to push it into next year. Uh, the Preservation Trust is okay with that. Uh, but we've extended the cooperative agreement, uh, which was set to expire at the end of this month to February 29th. Mm -hmm. So we'll be looking to conclude this uh, prior to that date. Uh, as they say, it's critical for the Preservation Trust to close on or before that deadline. Because the funding may be in jeopardy if we push it much beyond that. Uh, and they say they're looking forward to working with us uh, to finalize yet another successful partnership for conservation outcome for the audience and for our community. Thank you. Yeah. What is it? Can you say what the complication with the county was? Well, the complication with the county involved uh, the, the uh, difficulty around arranging advertising for a public hearing 
um, and getting it on the council agenda for that. The, the council going into the new year that has not finalized their um, their calendar yet. Uh, so they can't set a new public hearing date until they have a calendar of meeting dates. So the council will meet on, I believe it's January 8th, they'll decide on liaisons and hopefully a schedule or, or a calendar. Uh, and then we'll be able to establish uh, a public hearing date uh, and advertise for that. And they're aware of what drop that date? Uh, they, should they should be now. If they're watching. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On this year. And you said it was a it's a 30 day notice, right? For that public hearing. Is that right? Well, the the public hearing notice is actually 10 um 10 days. But the problem for us in advertising for public hearings in this county is that we've got a paper of record which is a weekly paper so you have to advertise basically a week in advance of the weekly paper in order to get it in uh included so you really are talking about three weeks to a month at a minimum in advance of the public hearing to advertise uh according to the law okay all right well thanks for report my proxy that's awesome um, Christine Minnie is online. Christine, are you ready to give a council update? I am. Great. Feel free. <laughs> um, I will be there shortly, uh, very shortly, in fact. Uh, but I am going to just give you a brief update. Although council seems, man, seems busier than ever. Uh, it is just, um, I think it's been most focused on the budget and getting through um, the the process, which included, it feels like months of budget hearings where each department was able to come before council to, uh, to sort of define their budget and um, uh, explain their asks for the next year or two. And uh, I'm so happy and relieved to say that the budget was approved on December 12th for 24, 2024 and 2025. We also have been in the midst of defining our 2024 legislative priorities. And um, I think this year the focus will be on housing, environment and transportation. In, in no particular order, uh, we have for the first time, as far as I'm concerned, though I'm not positive, the county has engaged a lobbyist for the um, upcoming session and if successful, uh, ongoing years. I, I think that um, I've learned in the last couple of years by spending time with regional um, colleagues, I've learned that having or um, engaging a lobbyist to bring our asks, specifically budget asks, uh, to Olympia during the legislative session can pay for itself in so many ways and in fact have a quite uh, an incredible return on investment. And we follow in the footsteps of Island County, Whatcom County, and um, Skagit County with hiring this specific lobbyist, and they have found uh, great success. Great. Yeah, actually, I'm really excited about it, though we haven't really, <clears throat> it is that January 8th retreat, I'm assuming that's going to be the date. Uh, the chair is responsible for setting the schedule of the of the upcoming year, and um, see what happens when we sort of define what those asks might look like. Council recently celebrated employee service milestones, which we do every year, uh, but there were a couple big ones this year that I would just like to note. Um, 
for 25 years of service. We have two gentlemen from Health and Community Services, Mr. Mark Tompkins, who is the director, and uh, Mr. William Patterson, who also works alongside Mark in Health and Community Service. 25 years is pretty fantastic, I can't imagine. Uh, but there's one that trumps that. There's a 30-year employee, which I don't know. That's, I mean, that's that says a lot for this employee's commitment. Uh, her name is Michelle Novak, and she is the payroll manager in the auditor's office. I wish I had a whole lot more to say, but mm, I think that's good. Happy to answer questions, and I'll be there soon. Okay, I'll just add that um, on land bank staff. Oh, there she is. Just, is now. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> well, 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 Eliza Hanfiger um, uh, was a 20 year um, celebrant this time. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I can tell that you spoke to somebody for 20 years, and I apologize I didn't go. I mean, because even that is an epic achievement. Um, but it's actually hard to hear the room. I don't know if I'm the only one. Anyway, uh, can you t remind me who it is? Eliza Abiger. Oh, I I knew that because I said her last name wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we announced it at the party. Thank you, Eliza. Thanks. Any questions for Christine? Congratulations on the budget. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Um, I know it's been arduous so far, but I'm just going to bypass the break. Right now. Uh, I want to go directly into the direct. I don't, I do not have to walk for you. Um, I only got everyone to know that we've got two people leaving the commission um it would be very very difficult to replace so Krista Campbell our current chair we will be leaving after 12 years it seems like a lot. it was like it's been a lot shorter and but we are certainly and Miss uh, Krista and Miss uh, died in force for this commission. I think it's hard, hard to imagine someone really having been a more valuable uh, commissioner. Sorry. 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 And secondly, Sandy Creel, mm -hmm. after six years of moving. On some other things, and Sandy has shown with us through some of our uh, very, very arduous uh, things that we've had over the past few years. And really, um, given her all way, way, way above and beyond um, what you could expect from anyone, quite honestly. So we're incredibly grateful. <laughs> Or is there something small? I will note that traditionally we um, do give as a parting memento a photograph of a preserve, but in both cases, uh, these two folks have, have elected for something different. <laughs> Independently <laughs> elected. Independently and shows the same thing. I kind of so both wine plants from Sailor Seeds. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so that's, I'm looking forward to not killing them. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> that's not my area. Well, okay. Know. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. um, my naughty onions actually are thriving when I'm dividing them and spraying them all over. So I hope that's. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to say anything? I would. Um, this is a kind of a bittersweet moment, and I, I get emotional, so I'm going to try to keep it under wraps. <laughs> um, this has been an incredible experience for me. 
a real growing experience, especially um, chairing. And I've never chaired anything. And I just am continually impressed by the um, competence of the staff and the respectful nature of working with commissioners and staff. It, it has been a, a pure pleasure. And uh, and also to having in the past been the one writing the letters and signing the petitions and donating for things and then to get this behind the scenes of what it really takes to um, to conserve land and try to deal with controversies and balance priorities. It's been a real eye opener and. I I really look forward to being an ambassador in the community and um, and continuing to support the land bank, especially in legal efforts. So thank you all. Krista, <laughs> mind mill. So I'm just going to say what she said <laughs> truly because you expressed everything that I felt and the only thing I could I would add is that I have served on a number of commissions or different things in the community and I will say that the work I've done here will remain my favorite and I think it's largely because of the staff and uh just the relationship with the commissioners it's a very I don't know it's just been my favorite work so thank you Hey. Public comment. Uh, stewardship report. Oh, so. Do we need to say anything? Since it was the most beautiful picture portfolio this month that I've seen. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I will miss getting those. So can we post those online somewhere? Yeah. I think we do. Yeah. Okay. Those are kind of the highlight of my month. I like to think those are public session. Oh, we do? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, and I made a comment about the storage. Yes, yeah, I, I found, and I think especially now that we're making them more available to the public, that the idea of just having a photo record and a caption um, of the highlights, what just made it breeze through. Mm -hmm. And I think that the public would appreciate that more than we long before that we need. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I thought that was great, and maybe could be less work on this path. Just as a thought. Mm -hmm. Any other comments about stewardship? Mm -hmm. Um, I'd like to you know, say something about a stewardship report. Okay, uh, it's just that those photos and captions, and I agree completely with what somebody just said. Um, I would. Love to see the, the photo captions identify volunteers where we have them by, by name. Uh, it, it's really important that we recognize the folks in the community who help us. Moving on to outreach communication, anything to report? We're having a retreat. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, just working on end of year. Uh, the end of your Q4 email that will go out. And then um, once the retreat's over, we'll definitely get together with um, staff and start planning for next year's events. I mean, there's the standards, but um, I think it'll be a, an exciting year. Great. Mike? When, is, when do you expect that the year end report will be published? And typically, it seems to be spread out a long time. Well, it's just the the last newsletter, so the fourth newsletter for the year, and usually I send it out on the thirty first. So you do a year review kind of thing. It's kind of like generally I do like a top ten highlights or um. So the number simple. say annual report. No, the annual report will be comes out. It'll come out in spring. That's different. Yeah, so the annual be, report is the one that we mail the right, paper. Right, right. Annual report. That's when you mail it. That comes mm -hmm. out in. We'll do April, May. Yeah, so, I like to I like it to come out in June, but I think we'll do it earlier. Why would we do it so late? Because more people are here. Oh, okay. But, All right. Yeah. 
just seems a year to have over. Yeah. Well, sometimes it takes a while to get the finances too through the from the county. Uh, well, I'd suggest we we'll do it as soon as we can, so it's relevant to the actual year. Yeah. Closer to the year. Okay. I think sometimes those final dollars come in even as late as March. Mm -hmm. You know, with them getting ending cash and forgetting cash, whatever seems to be the, the hang up. But um, yeah, it takes a while. Karen deals. Uh, <clears throat> any questions for Claudia besides points? Okay, so uh, I'm going to open up public comment again just because uh, a couple people joined after we even done that. So if there's anyone online that would like to make a public comment, come on here. Kathleen. 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 Me? Yeah, yeah. please. Okay, my turn. <laughs> Yes, yes. Your turn. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's well, it's there's a little uh drawback. And also I did log on at 7 30 and um was in the waiting room for like an hour and then I had to change devices. So I was actually I don't know when you actually started the meeting, but um so anyway, that's that. So thanks for opening up public comment again. And that's I guess I want to say thank you to Sandy Friel because she really changed and opened up public comment a lot more during her time as chair. And that was really appreciated. Um, so my public comment today is about the survey that you guys have online. <laughs> um, I just noticed it um, and I passed it around to several friends and no one seems to know about this survey. Um, one comment someone had about it, they thought it was a weird survey and then what they quote said, what are you going to do with the winning numbers or the winners of, you know, when you get all these tallies, um, what are you gonna do with that information? So I know you guys are doing your strategic plan. And so there's there was a survey that was put out a few years ago by a kid at Spring Street that I felt was a more thorough survey. Um, and so I hope that some of that information, it's still relevant to a strategic plan. So I hope that that gets looked at again. And um, so that, and also I ran into Peter Fisher and <clears throat> yesterday and he had sent out a lot of material. So I said, well, I will mention during public comment to make sure that the material that you have sent out to commissioners um, is utilized during the strategic plan. Um, he felt it was important. So those are, that's my two comments. And um, again, I'm, I'm just curious as to why the, the survey goes from December 6th to January 6th, yet your strategic planning meeting is now. And so then how will you use that information that you're gathering in the current survey? Okay, that's all I have. Great. Um... So a couple couple things I'll respond to just so for clarification. The survey is out. We have promoted it on Facebook through the land bank website, land bank mailing list, uh, Orcasonian uh, commissioners have shared it through Facebook and to and staff, I would assume, through their email list, and it'll get bumped again after this week or maybe starting next week. Because um, it's out for a while. The intention was to have it out earlier and have more data coming back from that survey for this meeting, but it's still going to be utilized. This, from this today's work, we will only have a draft of the strategic plan. So the responses and data from that survey will be compiled and shared back to the commission again uh, for future strategic planning meetings. So, yeah, I think that's what I want to say about that. Um, Peter Fisher's material, we had a whole packet of reading information, uh, gobs of it. And Peter's was in there, as was the past survey, uh, links to the past survey, Gretchen's uh, kind of SWOT analysis we had access to. I'm not sure how many went back to read all the tourism surveys that came that were done over the past couple of years through conflict. So, uh, and Kai mentions. Yeah. Um, the highlights from his from his survey from his survey so a lot of the past information 
was brought forward. He hasn't been forgotten. Um, because that serves our background, our consultants with this process brought in a lot of the background information, so we had a foundation from where we could start. Um, uh, that's all. I think I covered everything. We're kind of questioning. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope that helps. But, and I, I'm correct that when there's a draft strategic plan, it will go out for public comment. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So we'll have another opportunity to comment. Um, Correct. Good okay. questions, Kathy. Nice to see you, Kathy. Thank you. Yep. Um, okay, so other than that, I think I'm going to close the public comment and we're going to close the meeting. Uh, so we're going to start up at not. Um, so we're not. Oh. Oh. And the reason why is 